Hello guys and welcome back to Common. And it's time for the next part in this tutorial series and we are going to create that you can find out that you can hang on this edge but you can't hang on the edge on the other side of this cube because the angle is too high and we are also going to do that you can turn around this corner that it's going to calculate that when you are um, finding the edge it is, isn't going to do it from this position with this direction towards this point but from well here somewhere and going towards this direction so it's more accurate and things like that um, that's enough about turning uh, about this we're just going to I'm just going to explain everything within a minute but before I'm going to start there are two things I have to say the very first thing is for the guys who are following it well I'm uploading it so just every week maybe this a bit a little bit later because my internet connection um, well, isn't there my internet provider had some issues about it it's in the whole country right now or in my country so i don't know when it it is going to be fixed but maybe i can't upload this in time so i'm sorry for that but that's how it is the second thing is i'm using visual studio right now and it's the very first time i'm recording with it so if you guys got feedback if i have to zoom in more or i don't know have to change the layout a little bit just please put it in the comment section and I will, well, use your feedback to make better tutorials. So we're going to create a new function, a public void find spot. So the very first thing, um, we are need two variables. The very first thing is a request hit each and a checking sort sort. Those two things are because you need to know like the transform and a lot of other things for the cat close point we need a lot of things for it and also um, the direction as uh, like i said is going to be different when you're turning or when you are um, just going up and down and left to right on the same edges and everything is going to be a little bit different but let's start so the very first thing we need to do now is a factor tree dot angle and you don't want to um, see this object you want to go you can hang on this angle but not on this angle of this edge i think that's a little bit logic because well otherwise you will just slip off it because you don't have any grip uh, enough grip and things like that so uh, you can calculate it by each dot normal and factor three dot up so that's how you can do it and it needs to be less than a certain value normally it's 30 but maybe you guys want to change it because you have a different idea of of like your I don't know your character is like a superhero or whatever so we're going to add here a public float max angle and the default it's, is going to be 30 and 30 is like for normal human beings 45 is the max for like really sportive men and things like that and if you go even higher it's just like god or whatever um, that's kind of like how it is so just keep that in your mind that this uh, that you don't make it max angle actually higher than 45 degrees well we are going to create a new ray info because we are going to this a public ray info and we only and we need that so we need to change this and from this we have some variables we're going to use and from that we can go on so a ray info ray is a new ray info why i'm putting this part in is because otherwise you get a bunch of errors and i'm not going to ex explain why because that will take way too long that i can create a whole new tutorial about that but and it's very boring and why do you want to know it um so the first thing we're going to do is if your sword is just normal so checking sword dot normal that means everything is just like when you're just going up and down and just going to be on the same well that all the faces are in the same direction so when you're just going up and down left and right on the same edge and things like that um and here it uh so it is going to be ray is get closed point and of course the very first thing we need to know is a transform and that's a transform of which you hit and that's i explained it last tutorial so i'm not going to explain it a little bit more we need to start like I said, we start with the spot we find, but we're not exactly going to start there. We're also going to add a new factor 3, because it needs a little bit lower. 
And that's because you hit actually the surface of this object. So that means when you are going to send a request from here towards here, it will actually, well, sometimes it will hit this edge and sometimes not because, well, I don't know if you have a lot of experience with Raycast, but it isn't exactly stable. Um, but image, uh, but that is all I'm going to say about it. So you're just going to make it a little bit lower like this. Um, even though it's only it's a very small change like you uh, see. But if you're going to make it like this, the Unity engine only works with uh, two numbers behind the, uh, the dot. So that's kind of how it works. So, and for all the different sorts, this is not going to be changed. Only the direction is going to be changed. So this is just going to be transform.forward and divided by 2.5 because otherwise you will start a little bit too far away from it. But if you think about it, um, uh, it's really logic that it is transform.forward because when you are just hanging here, like here, and you want to go towards this edge, you want to start here, right? It's, I explained it last tutorial, I think, uh, last to, uh, in the last part of this tutorial, and you will send it towards this point. So it means like the direction is exactly the same as this character. So that means that, I'm sorry, that means that you can just use the transform.forward. So we're just going to copy and paste it a few times. Because maybe the sort isn't normal, but it is a little bit different. And we're going to put here an else because it's a little bit of optimization and why not? It is very easy and you can just, uh, it's not very hard because if you put an L else before it, it will, won't check this part in the if part uh, if this is already um, true. So that's how it uh, goes. So you got turning and got falling. And I'm putting it in, well, this order because normal is going to be the most used one. After that, it's going to be turning. After that, it's falling. Falling is almost never going to be used. So now when you are turning a corner, um, you don't want to actually start, which a lot of people are going to think, just from this and just put it like to this direction because maybe let me just copy this. Um, if the corner is just 90 degrees, everything is going to be all right. But sometimes it isn't. Sometimes it's for example, something like this. Let me just make it a little bit better. Um, and it is going to be like on this angle. And I know it isn't looking very good, but it's just so I can explain it to you guys. Um, but you still want to use you still need to use like that it is turning. It will still see this like it's a corner. So it means that if you're going to start from this position here and just send a raycast towards that, it won't hit ever this object because it's already inside this object. Um, so what we, are at, what we are going to do is actually start from this position right here and make the angle a little bit, um, well, not 90 degrees on the player, but 45 or whatever. So what we're going to do here is going to minus it with a transform dot right. And we're going to multiply it by an input dot get axis horizontal. And that's because I am now explaining it when you're always going towards the right, but a lot of time you're also going towards the left and then you need to calculate it for this corner. So it's just directly the upside of it. Um, so that's kind of this. And this, I think you can, you guys can understand it's very easy. So it's not very hard. The following part is a little bit different. Um, to code it's, it's very easy, but to understand it's a little bit harder. So here, just to remind here, we did like the, uh, the direction is transform.forward because the object is facing in the same direction. But if you are standing on a plateau and you want to fall off, this is the edge you want to hit. So it means like the direction is the upside of the actual transform.forward, right? So because you don't want to find if here's an edge, you want to find if here's an edge behind the player. 
Um, I'm going to talk a little bit more in when we are actually going to program that you can fall off and find the edge, but this is going to be it for this function. So now you've got a ray. And in the second tutorial, we used a target point to move towards a point. We had to change that, right? So that's just array dot point. And the target normal is going to be array dot normal. And then the last if loop, or well, there's also some what in this if loop, but now we're going to see that if you can go to watch that point, you are actually going to say your current sort is climbing and we are going to program that if this uh, your climbing sword is um, climbing towards a point it will just go automatically towards this point and when it is at that point it will be changed back towards climbing yeah we did that in this function move towards point for a lot and the other part when it will start we are going to do with uh, one of the next tutorials but um, maybe you are just walking around and I said in the second tutorial series that we had to reset everything, right? Well, we need to, uh, well, change it currently um, to make sure that when you are, um, we are using a rigid body. So that means that when you're in the air, which you are when you are hanging, you will directly fall down and we don't want that. We have currently our own method to calculate when you want to fall down, when you want to go, I don't know, everything. So we don't want to use that. So we, what we're going to do here, we're just going to put everything to sleep, actually. So for that, we need a public third person, use a uh, third person character called TPC. And we can exit it from here because we need to set a uh, crowned which you can just find here. We need to send it to a public because we need to change it manually. Because if they're still crowned, it will do some weird um, things. I'm not going to actually explain everything about it um, because it's a little bit hard. Just I'm just going to say you just need to res uh, actually set everything towards sleep. And it's one of the things you need to do. And if you're using like an other character controller, you need to maybe change some other things. So, but you only need to change that if you are starting with climbing because otherwise you already ran to, uh, uh, through this whole function and you are already climbing so you already disabled everything and otherwise it was just a waste of memory so you're just going to check if current sword isn't climbing sword is falling because if you're climbing that means that you already did this function once or or and it isn't um, and current sword isn't climbing sword dot um, climbing towards a point this seems a little bit weird because I only changed it here. I didn't change it before it. So why am I doing this? That's because if you have a very low frame rate, sometimes it will change this before it will do the if loop. Don't ask me why. That's just another trial and error. I just made sure that I had a really low frame rate and it just did, uh, did it sometimes and I just noticed this. So these are just things that are little bit of bugs within unity itself and if you just can fix it with simple solution as this it will just be awesome isn't it um, so we're going to disable the user controller so we can actually because we're going to uh, we have our own method of moving around so we don't want another method to screw with it to do that so richard dot is kinematic it is kinematic because you don't want to use your rigid body currently and we're going to put it and is grounded towards false because otherwise it will still think it's grounded and it will still change the whole um, animation state and things like that but that's not very important currently so now we've got this whole function the last thing you need to do is actually put it right here so find spot so we did it in the very first tutorial, I think. I don't know for sure. Or the second tutorial, I don't know. 
but the check response where I said we had to add here a function which we didn't create it yet. So we just can put here like the hit because that's the raycast hit we are currently using and the sort because that's the current checking sort. So now we can just copy this and paste it everywhere and we are just going to put it also here and that means you this is all we are going to do for this tutorial series i'm sorry it's very short this time but i noticed that my voice is a little bit weird <laughs> and um, i'm a little bit ill and things like that so nothing to worry about for you guys but it's the end of this tutorial uh, part and i hope you guys liked it if you did please leave a like or subscribe and i see you guys next time with another tutorial part in which i'm going to explain probably i don't know for sure about how you are going to when you are currently climbing when you're going to move around or maybe i'm going to explain how to actually start this whole script um, i'm not sure but it's we are just going to see in the next tutorial series so i hope you guys like it if you did please leave a like or subscribe or share it with your friends um, which may need this uh, tutorial series also this would be really awesome and would really help this channel out and also if you've got any questions please ask in the comment section below and we will try to answer it as quickly as possible and i see you guys next time with another tutorial part of this tutorial series bye